everyone, I'm Giselle van Dongen and I'm a data scientist at Clario. Besides that, I'm doing a PhD in which I do research into streaming frameworks, how they work and when you would use which framework. In this video, I will give you a short explanation of which frameworks exist and which frameworks are popular at this moment and when you would use which framework. Uh, four frameworks we use quite often at Clario are Storm, Spark, Kafka Streams and Flink. And these are the frameworks that I will be talking about. First, a general overview of streaming frameworks. In this example, you see that there's a raw data stream coming in, which are, in this example, Twitter messages. Those messages come in in real time into a distributed processing system. This processing system then transforms these messages and filters out all the cat messages that the data contained. It will then output all those cats and that is what we then call the process data. We have two types of streaming frameworks which we can discriminate from each other. First of all the native stream processing frameworks and second of all the micro batch processing frameworks. Native stream processing frameworks have a characteristic that as soon as a record becomes available for the framework it will handle, take this record and process it. The big advantage of this is that records are processed at a quick pace. So as soon as a record comes available, it will be processed and outputted to sync operators, which will then send it further to another messaging layer, a visualization layer or a database. So you would use native stream processing frameworks if you need very low latency of your processing. Microbatch stream processing frameworks, on the other hand, uh, buffer data into micro batches, so different records come in, they are buffered into a small batch uh, based on their time of arrival or their sizes, and then processing operators do transformations on these batches, then send it again to a sync operator, which will then output it again to a messaging layer, a database or a visualization layer. Micro batch stream processing layers um, are often used if you need high throughput. Actually, Apache Spark is the only micro-batch stream processing framework which we included in our comparison, uh, which is mostly used for cases where you do not need very low latency, but necessarily need uh, high throughput. 